Welcome Aries. Okay, so we're going to look at what it is that you need guidance with at the moment, okay? Um, we are using Avalon Magic, right? Wild Child Oracle Cards. And we're using this deck of cards here that I actually don't know the name of. Um, I had got them years and years and years ago and um, they were given to me and so I'm not entirely sure what they're called but I was guided to use them. Um, interestingly enough Aries, it's taken a while to prep for this reading to be honest with you and I just wonder if some of you are feeling like how it has felt to organize this reading <laughs> and it's kind of like being the sense of nothing's quite right and trying out this and trying out that which I haven't had before um, so just maybe feeling um, like there's a little bit of a lack of direction but now I'm sure that we are on track um so yeah i'm not sure if this is the energy of some of you but um yeah it's pretty interesting anyhow aries okay one more card for aries please thank you hmm interesting we've got got a rabbit here it's going to cover up the wording oh, I can't even see it let me cover up the wording so I just want to kind of like the rabbit it looks like what's well, here I think but anyhow it's like this thing of like what was that noise or which way shall I go type of thing there's the sense of pondering I feel also it almost looks like a crop circle <laughs> it reminds me of a crop circle back here <laughs> it's kind of like I wonder if the rabbit's like sitting there going how did they get there who did that and where are they <laughs> um yeah but let's have a look at the back here life will support the vision you have for yourself make it the best it can be okay so if you are wondering what it is that you're meant to be doing and you're not entirely sure. You will be supported, which is really interesting because I felt like that. That maybe there was the sense of lack of support or lack of guidance. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so give me two cards for this card for Aries, please. There's no title on these cards. So we've got Shelter yeah this could be about you um building a home um just a minute i'll just get the second card here one more card for aries please these are brand new cards so they're very slippery and light okay hmm wow okay so we've got shelter here and I feel like with this card here, Aries, is that you well, first off, I'm noticing that this tree is clearly in autumn. So getting this is you getting prepared for something, maybe prepared for a new journey in your life. And um and making sure that you have enough supplies to get you through however long. Because this squirrel looks like it's getting ready for winter, right? Because it's autumn right now. And the leaves are starting to fall. I feel like this is representative of things falling away that um, no longer serve you. In order for things to rejuvenate so 
seeking shelter. And this could be temporarily while you build this life for yourself. This vision that you have for yourself. You're always going to be, you're always going to land on your feet. This is the thing, right? You're never not going to land on your feet. So yeah, give me two cards for shelter, please, for Aries. Two cards for shelter, for Aries, please. Oh, look, here we go with the talent again. Oh, wow, we've got the ten of hearts. So this is what you're aiming for, Aries. Okay, we've got three cards here. I want to take them. Okay, okay. So we've got the ten of hearts here. So yeah, this is this, you know, everything you could ever dream of um, is what you are aiming towards here, Aries, which I really love because obviously, look, this is what you deserve, right? So this could be something that you're building maybe for your family or with the idea of having a family in mind. Okay, um, we have the Nine of Swords that has come out as well. So this could be weighing heavy on your mind and at times it can be quite stressful because it's sort of like, how am I going to provide? What am I going to do to provide for my family? How am I going to do this? And at times it can become very heavy. Um, and yeah, I just want to say, try not to overthink the situation because you're always going to, life will support you. Like it says here, right? Life will support you, Aries. Okay. You're always going to have shelter and what happens is the, the rabbits, they just dig their burrows, yeah, um, wherever they are. They can find shelter, they can provide for their families, they know how to do that and so do you. I feel like you don't really have much faith in yourself in that regard or potentially not enough faith. Um, so it could be that, you know, things have crumbled a bit in your life maybe um, and you're now having to actually find these resources and do what you can to provide for your family but I want you to have assurance that you are supported in doing that okay and the thing is that sometimes I think we can make the mistake of like wanting it all at once but if you had it all at once how are you going to manage the, manage that like for example if we had all the food that we needed for a lifetime how are you going to transport that half of it's going to go off because fresh fruit and veggies can't come all at once and then you know actually be stored um and remain fresh with all the nutrients and the you know the minerals and the goodness that we need from them right so I feel like this is um you looking around and being grateful for what you do have and know that that's enough for right now so that that energy that you're putting out there brings more to you okay we also have the king of swords here and this is you making sure that you're communicating as to what you need okay um try not to be too harsh with your communication but you know i feel like I, you know this is about you standing in the truth of who you are and really owning who you are and um the one thing i do want to say with this is just be mindful that wires don't get crossed, that there's no miscommunication, okay, so that everyone's clear as to what's going on. If you've got things mulling over in your mind that you need to express or that you need to discuss, um, could be with a significant other, this could be to do with work, uh, whatever it is, then make sure that you're communicating clearly so everyone knows where they stand, okay. The next card we have here is light and I feel like Aries this is it's it's about you shining your light okay um, because you've been an Aries and been a fire sign I feel as though when you shine your light and you don't hold back you're able to
it's it's kind of like needing to have warmth right and when you shine your light bright you are able to start a fire from nothing kind of thing um, because you are you are pulling on your natural abilities to provide what it is that you need in your life and and I do feel like some of you may have forgotten who the if you are honestly um, so it's really important to make sure that you're you're tapping into the truth of you um, because when you when you shine your light okay and um, this this radiates out okay it radiates out and 11 11 just went 11 11 um, and you are able to draw back to you what it is you need when you're in the state of overthinking and oh, it's not going to work out um, it's that's what you're going to get back okay so um, and with this king of swords here yeah really owning your truth you know Tell me more about light for Aries, please. Two cards for light for Aries. Tell me more about this. The sun. Yeah, get out in the sun, Aries. But this is happiness, man. This is everything come true. Look at this. Oh, I love this. I love this. We've got the sun. Yep, this is, you know, fit, like lots of fun, vitality, Um you know you've got the ten of hearts and the sun here like wow wow I think you get a little bit too much in your head to be honest and I think you worry about things unnecessarily I know it's hard not to do but I do really think that um you need to keep yourself in check in that regards okay and know like it says that life will support you okay we also have the ten of pentacles here so the thing is, Aries, is that you are able to provide everything that is needed in your life, okay? Um, and I just wonder if you're at the beginning of actually building that, and the Ten of Pentacles is what you're heading towards, okay? And, um, yeah, this is cool. This is very, very cool. Um, um, I want to say that this is you being very clear also with the universe um, and well just clear with yourself even that what it is that you're aiming towards and why okay um, because the why is what is going to keep you going in the hard times okay because along any journey there's rough um, terrain and there's smooth terrain right so you know really get clear on the why and um, and also um trust trust that you have the internal resources such as your intuition your instincts your heart um these three things here are going to see you through okay you've been fully fully supported here and if you can rely on these to guide your way rather than this you're going to be primo okay so Look at this. It says, gently place your feet on the path you were meant to travel. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Aries, I love this. Okay, so you're definitely at the beginning of a path. So gen you're, gently place your feet upon it. This is the path you're meant to travel. Okay, it's not a, oh, should I, or... Oh, do you think do you think this is the right one? It's this is meant to be. Okay, so um, you know, with this here, things falling away, okay, they're meant to fall away for a reason because it wasn't the right path for you, which is why it was difficult. Okay, so um, because I feel like this difficulty has been there, and maybe this is what this nine of swords was representing, you know. Um, but 
and and that could be you know causing you a little bit of fear in a sense of like oh what if it's the wrong thing again Aries have faith okay have faith so where are we at okay so wild child oracle give me two cards for this card here gently place your feet on the path you were meant to travel because it's been there Aries it's been there for you but for some reason you went in another direction and that's okay because you've learned things along the way that you can now utilize along this path okay and um and maybe it just wasn't the right time for you you know there were other lessons that you needed to learn yeah we've got crossroads here so this is you deciding which path deciding which path so go with your intuition here Aries because that will tell you all you need to know go with your instincts because I feel like you know you know which path really you're meant to go down and it could seem that another path it looks really appealing um, but in your heart of hearts if you really dig deep down into your soul you know which way you're meant to go okay so crossroads oh and the other card we've got here is echo echo which i love well, we'll look into that in a minute let's have a look at crossroads first crossroads aries you're at a crossroads so gently place your feet on the path you were meant to travel it's always been there for you don't like how that came out two cards for crossroads for aries please One, oh. Ace of Pentacles, how exciting. Okay, next card for Aries. Yep, here we go. Okay, okay. So we've got the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, this is a new beginning in, you know, career, um, you know, anything material-wise, okay, money, um finances whatever okay but it's also something that um is meant for you okay if you're in a career that you love that's cool this is about you looking at how you can expand on that because you may be in a career that you love but there's also lots of different paths that you can take along that career you know with that career and um yeah, this is definitely a new beginning. For some of you, you're still looking at what it is that you would like to do. Um, and there's this calling. There's this calling within you. And either way, whatever, however the situation applies to you, Aries, um, you know, there is a calling within you. Um, I do want to say that this could be a relationship here with this Tina Hearts, okay? Um, this is about how am I going to support this to thrive okay we also have the world here and this is things are turning around for you absolutely we've got you know we've got the sun and the world here and this is pretty pretty cool like i feel like the world is in your hands like the it's all there for the taking you know um and you're heading into a cycle or along a path that is actually how do I put it not divinely orchestrated because it was already there but this is your destiny this is what you are meant to be doing this is the path you are meant to travel like it says here so you know walk gently along this path savor every step because it's going to be a journey worth traveling okay and we have echo here see yep so some things i feel like i love that the bunny rabbit's out again and it's out at night this time so you're not going to be able to see everything okay that's coming and that can be really scary but um you are supported okay because there's this this is going to be a massive massive transformation in your life um but not a horrible one it's going to be a really um it's a soul journey it really is okay so one card for echo one more card for echo for aries please one more card for echo for aries awesome wow 
this is a huge huge transformation here yeah you are blessed man you are blessed along this path you have got everything working for you your guides your angels this is a divine how do I, a divine path like this is this is um yeah this is something you agreed to before you came here um there is no mistake that you're in the situation that you're in right now. Even if it feels like utter crap, you are where you are meant to be right now because this path that is waiting for you to place your feet gently upon it is it's written in the stars. Okay? Um, we also have the Wheel of Fortune here. And um, and I feel like with this card, Aries, you know, this here is, um, with the Wheel of Fortune, I want you to be aware that, as I said before, you know, there's rough terrain and there's a smooth terrain. And this is the same with the Wheel of Fortune. Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. It's actually the cycle of life. Okay, um, and this is so interesting because on both these cards, there's a uh, beginning and an ending. So just understand that that happens in life. Okay, and um, but we have some really major arcana here that are pretty powerful cards. We've got the sun, the world, the hierophant and the wheel of fortune. You are totally supported. Okay. And this is the beginning of a new cycle um, that is going to, that, that is actually part of your soul journey. Okay. Um, so yeah, I've got this card here, which is this owl here. Um, and I love this because this is you tapping into this wisdom that you have within. Okay, and letting that lead. Interestingly enough, the owl looks like it's daytime um, and it's up. Um, and so I feel like this wisdom doesn't just, it, it's always there. And maybe for a while it's been sleeping, but now you can tap into it and actually call upon it to guide your way. Okay, don't be imprisoned by your past create a brand new you, hold that vision, yeah Aries, yeah, do that, what that says, do it, okay, <laughs> what more do we need to say about that, oh, we want wild child cards, tell me more about this though, don't be imprisoned by your past, create a brand new you, hold that vision, one more card for this card for Aries. We've got one already come out. Here we go. Okay. We have currents. Yes, go with the flow. Go with the, where the current is taking you, Aries, because um, don't go against the current. Okay, and you will feel that inside when you tap into this internal guidance system and use the... the um, natural wisdom that you actually hold within you will be able to go with the currents okay and look at this this these whales here like psh, whales are so um such beautiful graceful creatures of the sea right and um and 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 they use this internal guidance system they use you know they go with the um the map they Go with the currents, but they also use the magnetic poles of the earth to guide them because they have this connection. And I feel like it's the same with you. You have this intuition. You have these instincts that you can connect with, which are part of your um, natural state as a human. These are natural guidance systems that you can utilize. It's like an internal GPS, right? If something's not sitting right with you in your heart, don't go that way. Don't settle, Aries, okay? Um, make sure that you step into this brand new you. Really hold that vision, right? Hold the vision of really owning your truth, okay? Hold this vision. Hold this vision, okay? Don't settle for less because it's there, all right? We also have the beehive here as well. But, oh, sorry, let's look into currents first. 
And then we'll go into Beehive. Okay, two cards for currants, for Aries, please. Not coming until we get the second card. And there it is. It's upside down, the second card. I don't know what it is. But this is the lovers. Yeah, so definitely about a relationship here. Um, the one thing I do want to say, oh, I noticed this here. Yeah, this is you dreaming. This is you dreaming about this this ten of hearts here, this ten of pentacles, right? This is you dreaming. This is your past holding you back here. Okay, don't let that happen. Okay, this is what is there for you if you allow it, okay? Um, if you listen to this, okay? Um, this... I feel like this lover's card is also about you being completely and utterly honest with yourself and really understanding what it is that you deserve, okay, and understanding your worth, getting to, you know, if you don't realise your worth, Aries, then you've got work to do, you've got healing to do, and you've got, you know, you've got to go through this um, time of, make, of having insights into yourself to see why it is you don't believe that you're worthy of of all this amazing, amazing life, um, and do what you need to do to let that go, okay, um, so the other card for currents here is the chariot, wow, I cannot believe, like, the, this is huge, what a, what a powerful reading that you've got here, the chariot moving forward, okay, moving forward along this path, okay, you know, the other thing with the lovers here is having enough love for yourself to travel the path that you're meant to travel, to know that you're worth that, Aries, okay? Um, because you totally, totally are. Right, so the beehive. The beehive. When I think about a beehive, they work in unison together. They work as a team. It's not just one bee doing all the work. They've all got their jobs. They are all there um, pitching in and helping, right? And so I want to say that, um, you know, if there's been times where you've done all the work, particularly in relationships, um, then make sure that you're having someone meet you in the middle, that you're not... Um, going above and beyond and not receiving the same thing back here, Aries, okay? Um, beehive. Give me two cards for Beehive, please. Two cards for Aries for Beehive. Oh, that was quick. Okay. We've got the Nine of Hearts here. Yep. What, what your wishes, what does that look like? You know, what does an equal relationship look like where you're both putting the same amount of work? So many people say... You know, it's 50-50. It is not 50-50. Do you really want to be with someone who is only putting in 50% of what they're capable of putting in? And it's the same for you. Each person should be putting in 100%. Okay, so do not settle for less. And if someone says, I'll give you 50%, yep, see ya, bye. On the path you go. Okay. Eight of hearts. Yeah, walking away from that kind of thing. Walking away from things that you no know, people aren't putting in the equal amount of work. 100% Aries, because I feel like you have been um, really working your guts out to do, you know, to get to where you want to be, to achieve what it is that you want to achieve, and people have not been meeting you with the same amount of effort, and that's got to change. So, yep. Walk away from that Aries, go find that two of cups, right? Go find your ten of hearts, go find your ten of pentacles, you know, um, because this is what you deserve, 100%, you 100, yep, I just, yep, 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 Aries, do it, because man, oh man, do you deserve it. So yeah, okay, Aries, thanks for that journey, this is, this is incredible. So honestly, like it says, gently place your feet upon on the path you were meant to travel yeah awesome okay Aries I will leave that with you take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye